This is a video by the Wyoming Technology Transfer and Research Product Center. It will cover the Catalyst Platform technology invented by Dongmei Li and Shibli Saha. The process of a proton exchange membrane fuel cell starts with hydrogen fuel and air flowing into a cell on two different sides. The platinum anode causes the hydrogen to split into two positive hydrogen ions, called protons, and negatively charged electrons. The polymer electrolyte membrane, or PEM, allows the protons to pass through while the electrons travel along an external circuit to the cathode, therefore creating an electric circuit. At the cathode, the electrons and protons combine with the air flowing in and create water, which is the only waste of the fuel cell. The fuel cell and its process can be seen in the diagram to the right. A platinum catalyst covers the anode of the cell. It drives the split of the hydrogen into the electrons and protons. The platinum catalyst is the main factor of the cost as it accounts for 50% of the total cost. Using the platinum catalyst more efficiently will greatly decrease the overall cost of the cell. A step in the right direction of more efficiently using the platinum catalyst came when one study revealed that molybdenum carbide can provide a higher oxygen reduction reaction activity than what is commercially available. However, by itself it has poor stability of carbides at higher potential. Researchers at the University of Wyoming have discovered a way to significantly improve the stability of the molybdenum carbide by applying platinum nanoparticles to it. This optimization of the platinum catalyst may lead to lower costs for the fuel cell. The platinum carbon catalyst is what is currently commercially available in the proton exchange membrane fuel cell. Compared to this, the platinum molybdenum carbide catalyst was able to achieve a higher current density and maximum power density. The maximum power per mass was also higher than the target set for 2020 by the U.S. Department of Energy. After some time, it was shown that the platinum molybdenum carbide is durable enough for normal operating conditions. For more information about this technology, or the many others that the University of Wyoming has to offer, please visit us at www.uwyo.edu.